Okay, so there is a keyboard shortcut that I use every single day, probably uh, about 100 times a day when I'm working with Premiere Pro CC 2015. And it's not a shortcut that actually exists in the program. It is a crazy, crazy amalgamation of shortcuts. A long time ago, I got really, really sick of having to mouse all the way over to the effects panel to type something into this dumb little search bar. Actually, the search bar is great. I love that you can search through here. But I hate that you have to always, always use the mouse to get in here. That is a ginormous waste of time. And frankly, I don't understand why nobody understands that that's a big deal to have to use the mouse every single time. So anyway, there is no way of getting into this panel with a keyboard shortcut. But it is possible to make your own, and it's crazy obscure. So here's what you do. It is possible to get into the different windows of Premiere with shortcuts, okay? So, for example, you've got Shift 1, Shift 2, Shift 3, Shift 4, and those will go to like the program monitor, the source monitor, the effect controls, the timeline, and the effects panel. So, by default, the effects panel is Shift 7, okay? You can press Shift 7 to get into the effects panel, but the only thing that that does is highlight the effects panel. That's useless. I don't want it highlighted. I want to actually get in there and, and type stuff in. So, usually in a lot of programs, when you press tab, you'll get to the next sort of line, or, or something interesting will happen, okay? Tab can do some cool things, and it can behave unexpectedly. And in this case, you can indeed cycle through all sorts of little sort of features of the effects panel. Okay, so if you push shift 7 and then you push tab two times, you will get into the effects panel search bar. So done, right? Oh, there we go. There's our shortcut. So all you got to do is combine that in auto hotkey or combine that on the macro buttons on your keyboard. You can just combine all those together and now you're in the effects panel search bar, right? Wrong! No, sir, you, you, are, uh, you are not even close. Because, yes, that'll work maybe 10% of the time. But the trouble with that, the trouble with it is, number one, you're using Shift-7. And you know what Shift-7 is? That's an ampersand, okay? So if you use this shortcut anywhere that's the wrong location, sort of, you're going to end up with ampersands all over the place. You don't want ampersands all over the place. So the first thing we got to do is change the shortcut to get into the effects panel, okay? And you can change it to anything you want. And I suggest that you do something really obscure. And in my case, it worked very well to just do control shift alt 7, okay? And it can be a super long shortcut because it doesn't matter. You're not pushing those buttons yourself, okay? So you do that. And then you push tab twice. And now you're in the effects search bar, right? Wrong. The trouble is, if you are already in the effects panel, and you use that shortcut, and you use tab twice, you will end up somewhere else. You'll end up on the little YUV, or the little 32, or the little trash can, or the folder. You'll end up somewhere else, okay? So that's a problem. So, what you have to do is first highlight another panel, and then highlight the effects panel, okay? So, what panel to choose? Well. You can't really use the source monitor, or the program monitor, or the timeline, or the effect controls for various reasons, because usually you'll just end up cycling through all the timelines you have up on the screen, and that's going to be miserable, okay? Uh, there are a number of reasons why you wouldn't want to do that, right? It turns out that the best other panel to use is a bin, and the default shortcut for that is Shift-1. And that will highlight a bin, okay? And you're probably always going to have bins up. So this is fine, okay? You use anything else, and you'll have unexpected behavior where the windows will kind of freak out, and you'll end up somewhere that you don't want to be, okay? So have it first highlight a bin, and then have it highlight the effects panel, okay? So that's Control-Shift-Alt-1, Control-Shift-Alt-7, okay? Now you're in the effects panel. And now you press Tab twice, right? Wrong! Because it turns out 
that if you already have an item in the effects panel that's been highlighted, this little trash can shows up all the way down here. And you have to scroll past it on your tab journey in order to get to the effects panel search bar. So that's three tab key presses rather than two. Oh no, this is terrible. So do you do it as three? No, because then the two one won't work. This is a disaster. What do you do? Well, you keep pushing tab. So if you have to push tab twice to get into the effects panel search bar, then you have to press it five more times to go all the way back around to highlight the effect panel search bar a second time. However, if you have to press it three times to get there because the little trash can is in the way, then you have to press it six times to get back into the effects panel search bar. So, do the math. That's two times and then five times, and then five times again, five times again, five times again to keep going back there. And for the alternative, when the trash can is present, it's three times and then six times, and then six times again, and then six times again. Guess what? There's an intersection point between these two methods of getting into the effects panel search bar. And that magic number is 27. But only if you're in the latest version of Premiere, which is 2015, and maybe it was also in 2014, because in older versions, the magic number is actually 36, because there's more stops on your way to go all the way back around to get back into the effects panel search bar. But the most recent way to get there is with 27 tab key presses. Anyway, so now whether or not the trash can is present, you will get guaranteed into the effects panel search bar. But your journey's not quite finished yet, young Padawan. So now what do you do? Well, by default it will highlight this little bar. It'll highlight it. And uh, that means that if you press delete or backspace, it'll delete any text that is already in there. And that's really important because you don't want for there to be text in this little bar because you want to search for something new. And sometimes you just want to clear the box because it's searching for something really obscure and you can't see any of the rest of your effects, right? So the shortcut should be delete, right? Wrong! If you accidentally push one of these macro keys somewhere, you're going to do 27 tabs and then delete something, you're going to have no idea what you deleted. But it turns out that if you use shift backspace, that is a lot less destructive of a keyboard shortcut than regular backspace. You're a lot less likely to delete stuff with shift backspace in any context. That's what's important here. Okay, so shift backspace. And then, guess what? You can type in anything you want and you can search for it. So you push one macro button on your keyboard. Your keyboard has macros, right? Oh, I'm sorry, your keyboard doesn't have macros? What are you doing? What are you thinking? You got to get yourself a keyboard with macros on it because, I mean, why wouldn't you? It's incredibly useful, especially if you're someone like a video editor or a programmer or anybody who has to sit in front of a stupid computer all day. Okay, you're going to want macros on your keyboard. Or you can just buy a little thing that can act as a macro, but whatever. Get yourself some macros. If you don't know what a macro is, go find out. So you assign that to your macro, and then on top of that, which all it does is get you into the effects panel search bar and delete whatever's in there, on top of that you can have it type in anything else. So I have fast color, I have crop, I have uh, blur, I have presets, and when I, when I type in presets, it gets every single preset that I've created. That's very useful. And also I have just clear, and it just clears the little box. That's super useful. And that's the shortcut. So again, the complete and total macro shortcut for this entire thing is Control Shift Alt 1, Control Shift Alt 7, tab 27 times exactly, shift backspace, and then you can type in anything you want. And you can have multiple macros that all type in different things. I suggest that you have one that just does the shift backspace and nothing else, 
and also that you have another one that just types in the word presets and then you'll have every single preset that you have made showing up all at the same time and it's just beautiful. That's the magic shortcut. However, it turns out that there's still one circumstance under which it does not work and there's nothing I can do about it. Okay, sometimes when you're dragging out of the effects panel and stuff gets highlighted in this very specific way, there's absolutely no way to deselect or unhighlight. Okay, not that I could find, not that I am aware of. There, there's no way of exiting from this state. And if you're in this bugged state, there's nothing you can do. So what you have to do is go in there manually and unselect that stupid weird selection with your mouse and then the shortcut will work normally again. So like I said, this doesn't work 100% of the time, but it does work 99% of the time and that's good enough. Now what a journey this was, wasn't it? Yeah, it took me a while to figure this one out. And the thing is that this is like a bodge, it, it, it's awful. And I wish that I didn't have to do it. And I wish that Premiere had support for this shortcut. It's so simple. But even this is too slow, okay? I, I just wish that I could apply a keyboard shortcut straight to the effects themselves. So then I could just click on a clip in the timeline and just click one keyboard shortcut and bam, a preset will be automatically applied to it. Because you still have to use your mouse you still have to use your mouse on the effects panel. Was Premiere made by a bunch of mouse lovers? I don't understand why nobody understands. I'm sure some people understand. Probably if you're watching this, you understand. But so many people just don't get it. So, that's my fancy pants shortcut. Uh, treat it well, you know, use it. It's uh, super useful. I've developed it over, uh, over uh, the course of my career. So uh, it's yours now, enjoy.